Wow, sometimes a budget phone comes along that just blows you away. This is the new A25. This phone is launching alongside the new A15, and this phone is incredible for the price. At $160, this is the best budget phone I've ever tried. So let's find out what makes it so good. If you've seen my new A15 review, then you know what to expect in the box, but let's go over it anyways. You get the new A25, which has a screen protector pre-applied to it already, which is nice. This one's black, but you can also get it in gold. You also, of course, get the SIM ejector tool, a power brick, which is fast charging, USB-C cable, and a bonus, you get a nice little TPU case and some stickers. The case fits snug and it's nice and clear to show off that nice black matte color. Overall, pretty good bundle in the box. Now let me tell you why I like this phone so much. First and foremost, the design. This is a good looking smartphone. It has a matted plastic finish on the back and metal on the sides that's comfortable to hold. It has rounded edges on the corners so they don't dig into your hand. The camera array looks sleek and just adds to the nice design of this phone. My favorite part of this phone though, the beautiful full HD AMOLED screen that runs at 120 Hertz. Yes, 120 Hertz on a phone that only costs $160. Within the screen lies a fingerprint sensor that works really well for me. On this beautiful display, content and games look amazing, and that's not an exaggeration. Unfortunately though, this phone does suffer from the same issues with streaming apps that the new A15 I reviewed also has. Most streaming apps will only be able to run at 480p and not take advantage of this amazing screen due to a DRM mismatch on the phone. Some streaming apps require L1 Widevine DRM licensing, and this phone only has L3. Apps like YouTube will still run at 1080p, but Netflix and Amazon Prime will limit you to 480p. But that's really the only issue I have with this phone. Moving on, the phone runs stock Android 13 and is powered by MediaTek Helio G99 processor with 6 gigs of RAM. The phone is buttery smooth, no joke. Switching between apps, gaming, navigating through the phone is just so much fun, especially when it runs at 120 hertz. Battery life is incredible as well. With a 5,000 mAh battery, it easily lasts the day for me, and most of the time I have half the battery still remaining when I go to bed. One of the things that adds to battery life, but might also be a problem for you, is an app called DuraSpeed. This app that you can find in the settings menu limits apps from running in the background. So if you find yourself missing notifications, make sure to either turn off DuraSpeed, or under the DuraSpeed settings, turn on the app that you want to get notified from. This phone also has 128 gigs of internal storage and supports SD cards up to one terabyte, plus dual SIM with support for any GSM carriers. This phone unfortunately does not support 5G or an FC. Speaker quality on this phone is okay. There's only one speaker on the bottom and it gets really loud and it works great for notifications. Thankfully there is a headphone jack and with the headphone jack you can also use the FM radio app when headphones are connected for free music streaming. Really cool. How are the cameras on the new A25? Let's find out. The 50 megapixel main camera can take really nice pictures when there's good lighting. And the phone can use AI to figure out what you're taking photos of and adjust for the best settings automatically. There's also a night mode. And you can also record videos up to 2K resolution at 30 frames per second. Here's a sample of that quality. So at $160, the phone is just awesome. I highly recommend it if you are looking for a great phone that feels solidly built and performs well. Thanks for watching the review. You just got CE Tech. Have a great day.